Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, guys. Only a couple more days till Christmas. Um, it has been a week for us here this week. Um, we had so many appointments and my husband had his surgery and I had my infusions and uh, I think how that went. It was Monday. We had to take go for a stress test for him before his surgery. And then Tuesday, he was at one hospital getting his kidney operation. My grandson took him. And I was at a different hospital getting my first day of infusions. And then Wednesday, back to the hospital for the second day of infusions. And then Thursday, it was back to our family doctor to get my husband's ears checked. It's just... <laughs> So I got nothing done. It wiped me out this week with these infusions and stuff. You can see here I'm a little beat up. This is the vein that did not work. Um, they actually went in this arm. They had to get ultrasound because my veins are so deep and you can't find them. So yeah, and I made the mistake. I usually let them leave it in when I go like Tuesday. I go, always go two days in a row. And instead of taking it out, they usually just wrap it up and I keep it in. And I think that was a big mistake because, oh, my arm was so sore and swollen after the second day of infusion. So I don't think I'm going to be doing that again. As much of a pain in the neck it is to find my veins, but it's still kind of a little puffy. And this ugly thing here, ugh, you know, needles. It's so tired of needles. But anyway, hi. I pop on here, say hi. I got to get this haul done here and then I got to get my cookies done for Christmas so we're just gonna move on from all this junk and um, yeah anyway I know a lot of people ask I say it like everybody knows what they don't but um I go for IV IG infusions is what they are called it's like a it's trying to get my immune system to stop eating my casing off of my nerves I have a condition called CIDP which you know my immune system is just not happy with me so we're trying to get that thing straightened out, but I mean, it's never going to go away, but hopefully we can get it under control. So anyway, that's the reason I go for the infusions. I always forget to mention, I always think, you know, you guys, I see you guys, well, you see me, I see you guys every week. <laughs> so I just forget. Anyway, let's jump in here to this. This is more fun. Um, I did get a couple things in the plus section. I picked up this table runner I thought was really pretty. It's $5. It's 48 inches. And on the inside, you have this pretty color, so you can flip it over if you wanted to. Um, but I love the snowflake pattern. Um, I don't think I'm even going to put this out this year. I'm just going to put this away for next year. It's the perfect size for my uh, coffee table in the living room that I put all my cute little decorations on. And I think this will work out great and it's really um nice and thick i really like this a lot it's really nice thick quilted um table runner that's what i'm trying to say but yeah isn't that pretty love that now the other thing i found this is more of a springy thing believe it or not there are spring things coming out but i picked up these metal welcome signs i did get two of them they were five dollars but look how pretty these are. And they're all metal. The whole thing is all metal. I'm not quite sure. I wish they had like a hanger on it. It does not have like a, anything to, you know, particularly to hang it from. But I mean, you could hang this probably on a wreath um, hanger. But look how pretty this one is. I love these. And these are going to go quick because let me tell you what. She had just put this case out. Everybody's checking them out. And... You know, there are a few more different ones that they were already out of. So if you see these and you like them, don't pass. Because like I said, the whole thing is made of metal. Now the other one that I got, I did pick up two of these. I love this one mainly because it has this cute little bee on it. And I like the flowers too. So, yep. Five dollars. They're called Flower Welcome Signs. They're 16, or excuse me, 14 by 6 by an in 1.3 inches you know wide this way but yeah it's just like a 14 inch wreath they're absolutely beautiful they're painted beautiful um and then it has your nice little welcome here on the bottom oh my god i was shocked to see it i just i don't know they just caught my eye and i had to start digging through the box and actually the lady got the box down because it was way up high on a shelf and she was um, stocking shelves, so she got the box down for me so I could look through them. But, oh, 
love them love them love them and i hope i can find the other ones that go with these um but again i wish they had some kind of a like a hanger to them because you, know, you might not want to hang it on your door you might want to hang it somewhere else but that is it as far as the plus section the rest of this stuff is all dollar 25 and the majority of this is stocking stuffers this i'm don't, not thinking is going in the stock my husband got so excited when he saw cracker jacks at the dollar tree he was like oh my god cracker jacks and he grabbed got them off the shelf and he, he said he hadn't had these in a long long time and he says look there's even though still got a prize inside <laughs> He's so funny. But anyway, you get three packs of the Cracker Jacks here. So that, that was his big... I think there's a couple more. I have everything dumped in my bucket here. Like I said, most of this stuff is going in the stockings. We got some pens here that we're going to do. These are just the Jot Gel pens. Um, you get ten of them in here. And I like these because they have this little rubber grip to them. So we got those. I think there's another pack of those in here somewhere. Oh, this was the other thing that he picked out was these peppered beef jerkies. So I think he got these um, last week. Or was it Tuesday? I don't know. Tuesday of last week? I don't remember. But he must have liked them because I see there's another one of these in my bag here. <laughs> I'm not very organized this week. I just got to tell you that right now because I'm just not. And that's all I can say. It's just been a week, guys. Um, I picked up two of these. There's another one of these down here in this basket somewhere of the multi-purpose um, auto cleaner. That's going to go in some stockings. Now, my husband's stockings obviously not going to be a big surprise because, you know, he has to go with me to the Dollar Tree because, you know, everything going on here. Uh, and most of the stuff, and some of the stuff is from my grandson's stocking too. We got some candy kisses. And I always wrap everything in the stocking. I don't know about you guys, but I do. I take a little piece of wrapping paper and just roll them up quick and tape them and shove it down in the stocking. It's just more fun to unwrap them. So I'll wrap up all this stuff. And then I got, some, got him some Snickers too to put in his stocking. And I got a bag of Swedish fish. I know it's mostly junk food. Swedish fish for the stocking because you know what I don't even know what to put in their stockings anymore I did pick this up this is called Wizards Naturals um, infused with essential oils aromatherapy mist it's good for mood brightening uh, invigorating experience so we'll see let's see if we can brighten some people's moods but I thought that was very different never tried this but it looks pretty cool um, yeah sunny citrus is what this one's called so that's gonna brighten everybody's mood make everybody happy and who doesn't need a little scotch tape in their stocking <laughs> it's just the weird things you put in here when they're adults you know it's different when they're little kids you can buy all kinds of cutesy little things but these are stockings for adults um i got two packs of the hershey's little candy bars here. My husband likes them and my grandson likes them too, so I sort of stick them in there. And I probably got way too much for their stockings because I never think I have enough. And then once I wrap them up and try to get them in there, that's a whole nother story. Oh, these are for me. I picked up these um, Planters Honey Roasted Cashews. I've never tried these before. I don't even know if I've seen these before at Dollar Tree. I just may have missed them, but they sound really, really yummy. So those are mine. They don't go in stockings. And then my husband actually found these and he wanted to try these. And these are the Solid Milk Chocolate uh, Landmark Confections. I've had these before. These are really, really good. So I got two of these bars. And what else we got? I know it's almost all junk, guys. Sorry. But it's just the Christmas thing. Okay, this is my grandson's favorite is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. So I got a couple bags of these little mini um Reese's and yeah they do have pretty big stockings they're not little Christmas stockings they're pretty pretty big so a lot of this stuff will hopefully fill that up and then I figured why not wrap up some uh hand sanitizers tis the season for hand sanitizers <laughs> so I got a couple of those to stick in there too this is a Germex um so we're gonna put those in there too what else did we get we have, did I show one of these? Oh yeah, I did already. There's an, the other Armor All multi-purpose cleaner. 
and my husband really is getting into Rolos lately, so I picked up some Rolos for his stocking. Don't tell him, even though I know it probably, he, he was there when I got them, so. <laughs> but hopefully he'll forget everything that I picked up, because I do sometimes, too. Let's see, here's my other bag of candy kisses, because we got two big stockings to fill. And I got these for my grandson's stocking, too. These are um, Welch's... Uh, juice fills, mixed fruit. Um, see the juice, taste the fruit. So there you go. <laughs> I got that one for his stocking too. And yeah, this is just little odds and ends of everything. I think I'm about done down here. There's the other pack of pens. There's the other tape. Okay, I think that is all the stuff I got for stockings. And hopefully, hopefully it fills them up pretty good. Otherwise, maybe I'll just triple wrap them, make them fit better. <laughs> All right, I did pick up this um, tin. I thought this was very, very pretty. Um, I still have things to wrap and get done, so I just love this one. It's all gold on the inside, but I love that it has the little bow. I usually just stick a couple pieces of tape on here, and there you go. You're done wrapping. But yeah, that one caught my eye. They had it on a like an end cap when you walk in. And then I did grab a couple more things of tissue paper. I've used a lot of tissue paper so far. But I thought this was real pretty with these silvery and white snowflakes. And then you get the red that comes along with that. How many sheets are in here? Six sheets in here. But, you know, some things you just want to make them look a little extra special. So that's what those are for. And then I also got it in the gold. And the gold just comes with some white tissue paper. But, ugh. That is just so, so pretty. And how nice that'll look sticking out of like a gift bag or something. So, picked up those two. I think that's it for Christmas stuff because, you know what, it's almost here. And what else did we get? Oh, these stars. I did pick up these stars. This is the only really other Christmassy thing that I picked up. But I do love these stars ornaments here. Just, you know, for the tree or for DIYs or whatever. It really doesn't matter, but they're just real pretty because they have like, I don't know if you can see it on here, but it's real glittery and just, it just looks so, so pretty. So I'm going to put them in my stash for next year. And I think next year we are going to have to start DIYing and stuff a lot earlier than I did this year because I'll tell you what, I just didn't have the time because I was never home. That was the whole, whole problem here. Now these I picked up that I'm gonna gift to some people and some I am keeping for myself and that is all these little, I call them travel size because these are great to stick in your purse or something to take with you if you want it. And this is intensive care, Vaseline intensive care, cocoa glow, and this stuff smells so nice. And I don't know if I can, okay, I can't open these. Oh, it's sealed nicely here, but I'm going to open this one because this one's mine. I want this one for myself. I've had these before. I'm not going to take it all the way off. But Oh, it smells so good. It's just this nice, really creamy, I don't know, it's great. Once you put it on, I don't know if any of you guys have tried it, but man, this stuff really softens up your skin. And this time of year, I mainly need it on my fingers and my thumb because that thing is always splitting. And then I got the Dove Beauty Cream, it's called, for face and body. They just had all different kinds. And these make a nice little, you know, stick in a gift basket or something with some other self-care things. And this one is called Body Love Rich Nourishment Cream. This is also the Dove. And then they had, they had all these different brands, which I thought was awesome. And then they had the Pons Light Moisturizer Hydrate. Um... This is for soft and glowing skin. So if you want some soft and glowing skin, <laughs> there you go, you have the pawns. But these are just so nice just to, to like toss in your purse or something, just for your hands. I mean, you don't have to use it for exactly what it says here. But yeah, that is it. That is what I picked up this trip. It was a quick trip to the Dollar Tree. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna clean all this stuff back up again and I will go grab little P so he can come in and have a visit. All right, here he comes. He's flying in upside down today. You crazy boy. He knows I have a peanut in my hand, so he's very, very happy. Huh? Are you very, very happy? 
It looks a like goofy looking peanut. Do you say hi to everybody? Wish everybody a Merry Christmas? No? There you go. He's the nutcracker for the year. Oh. Huh. Are you a nutcracker? Is that what you are for Christmas? Yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's flying everywhere, P. You hit me with it? There's someone way back here. My goodness, you're a little aggressive with that peanut. Huh. Tell everybody you've been a good boy, kind of, pretty good. Hey, I did have a little screaming fit a little while ago, but not too bad. Huh. But then I tell him, come on, you're going to be on TV because you're a superstar. Are you a superstar? Yep. I know. You are a superstar. Yeah, that is the best thing ever is those peanuts. I wish I could get you to do something else cute. I am try, going to try... Try, try, try to get some video of him not in the craft room doing goofy stuff because he's a goofball. Hmm. <sighs> you're throwing them all on the ground. Okay, you're a little hyper here today, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just excited because you know Santa's coming in a couple days? Are you going to bring you all new toys? Yeah, you gonna get new toys for Christmas? We're gonna have to try to get video of that too. Yeah. Oh, all your new toys. I am gonna try this weekend to get a video up of my Christmas decorations. There's nothing elaborate this year. It's kind of pretty basic because I just didn't have it in me to go crazy decorating, but I will try to do that. I especially want to show you the outside of the house because, you know, my grandkids came down and my daughters and um, they really helped decorate outside because we just didn't have the time or the energy to do it this year. Actually, we really haven't done it too much in the last few years. So, this year we did it up, huh? Well, I should say they did it up. Yeah, so we're going to try to get that done this weekend. Just for something to do. And I'm probably not going to do a Dollar Tree haul on Tuesday because, you know, it's the day after Christmas. I'm not even going to have the probably the energy or the chance to get back out to the Dollar Tree for Tuesday. But we will definitely have one up for Friday. And we're going to try, try, try now that, you know, next week all the Christmas rush will be over and maybe we can get a few of these DIYs done I want to get done and yeah so that's the hope hmm because when we get done here guess what we got to go do oh, why is it my phone dinging uh, um, all right I will be right back there's somebody at my door okay that was my very sweet, sweet neighbor that always comes every year. We exchange a little um, present every year. And P sat here so patiently all by himself. <laughs> he was sitting very tall, looking at me when I came back in. Like, uh, excuse me, where did you go? Huh. But anyway, that's who was at our door. Oh, it was our very sweet neighbor. She's so nice. Yes. But anyway, yeah, that's what that was about. I don't know what we were talking about, P. Nope. But here, do you want to finish up your peanuts before we go? Because we got to go make cookies. Yes. I need to make cookies. I need to dye my hair because, uh, it's a mess. You don't want your peanut back? He's like, no, you left me here all by myself. I'm mad now. So sorry. But you didn't want to come with me. Do you want to come with me now? See? He doesn't want to get off this place stand. Do you like just sitting in here? And look at everything. Do ya? I don't know, B. I don't know. Do you want this one? You don't want nothing now. You're mad at me for leaving. Are you mad at me for leaving you? Huh? Are you mad? Huh? Do you need some scratches? Would that make you feel better? We scratch your pretty fatters. Yeah. He's like, yeah, scratch my pretty fatters. Yeah. He's so cute, P. 
You can give him puff up. You get them puffy feathers. <laughs> you funny. No, we only got you to laugh once on camera. That was it, huh? Say, nope, I don't do anything you want me to do. That's why I'm going to try to get some video of you outside of this craft room because you are such a goofball. And nobody can see it because when you come in here, you sit there like a statue. Yeah. You used to play in here. What happened? Do you want the peanut? I'll eat it. I don't care that you chopped it up. All right, we're going to let everybody go so we can get this video up and we can go start making our cookies and get this Christmas stuff on on the road here. I guess that's what I want to say. <laughs> but anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope everybody has a wonderful and blessed Christmas. And we will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone. Say bye-bye, P.